was the most stupid excuse that I ever heard, and don't you dare get out from the house after I told you, you're still grounded for make bad things to Rosie. Come back here you little bald idiot kid, don't you dare go out from the house while you're still grounded, you will get a punishment day if you don't hear me what I say. Now get back here you idiot kid. consuming for my entertainment, as I cannot play my electronics during school until I got home on Friday. But at least I now home and today is Friday, and tomorrow is Saturday, now I finally can have some entertainments in here without any interruptions for the school. School made me so boring and don't have entertainments during this time. Thank God tomorrow is Saturday, because tomorrow is Monday. Then there will be no longer entertainments for me for the rest of that week if tomorrow is Monday. So because I already got home, I just going to play laptop on today, or rest in the bed, or something like that, I guess. Hey Caillou, have you already home? Didn't you know that you need to take a shower after you got home? Because you must take a shower whenever you got home from the place that you go out just now, and it will become more stinking smells really bad if you just go to your room and didn't go take a shower after you got home from school. Besides, your suffer is now ready since 30 minutes ago. I don't want you to kept waiting for your suffer, because your suffer will be cold and I have to heat it up once your suffer is cold. And once your suffer cold, I'm not going to heat it up your suffer lunch. Instead, you have to eat at your cold suffer if you kept wait for your suffer lukna until cold. So your suffer will not delicious and not good this time. So if you don't want to eat your cold suffer, you should take a shower. And then go to the kitchen and eat your lunch supper, and after that, you can take a rest in your room or have some entertainments in there. I don't want to heat it up your supper once your supper is cold, and you will be grounded for one week if you didn't do the actions that I told you just now. So if you don't want to be grounded for refusing these types, then you must do it or else you know what happened. So do it right now Kai you. Oh my god. I didn't know that I must take a shower after I got home from school and eat my supper lunch, since my dad has cooked my lunch supper whenever I got home from school. And if I make my supper cold, then my dad refused to heat it up and I have to eat my supper cold and it will be not delicious if I eat my lunch cold. But not just that, I also feel stinking like this room smells really bad if I didn't take a shower and new fresh, so I don't want to make my stink spreading in my room. Otherwise I would be smells really bad to death and cannot sleep in here again for a days, or weeks, or even worse, a months. So I really need to take a shower quick before my dad realize that I refuse to do what my dad says, or else he will ground me if I refuse to do what my father just said. I gotta go right now, take a shower, and eat my lunch supper. Okay. Now I already eat my lunch supper, and thank god it's still fine of my supper lunch, otherwise it will not be very delicious if I eat my supper lunch with cold. But anyway, I'm going to take out my laptop and do something entertainments of my laptop. Oh, uh, I wonder where's my laptop. I was keep my laptop in here when I have time to work such as school, mall, etc. I need to search it for my laptop in here, and I 
hope my dad will not steal my laptop in here, because I'm still grounded for using invisible phone to cheat for the final exam of history three months ago. I hope I can found my laptop in here, it must be here somewhere. Aha, here it is, my laptop. My laptop is now here again, and it's time to make some entertainments of this laptop. What I should do for this laptop with my entertainments, since I don't have any entertainments for 5 days, because those days that I don't have entertainment is my school. School always make me boring to study of that school and I even can't have entertainments during that when I got school. Because school is never allowed to bring any electronics, as they cannot get concentrated what their teachers teach a lesson when they bring a phone to school. Unless the school has an event, that students may be allowed to bring their phones in school as the event in school has some free time or important. But even if the school has important event without studying of the school, like the teachers do the job in there, it's possible that they may still bring their phones to school without study like a regular daily in that school. But anyway, I'm going to the YouTube and see what's some new videos in there. Since I haven't go to the YouTube applications for 5 days or during the time that I have school. Uh, there's nothing new videos in YouTube. And every time when I open YouTube, the videos always just comedy videos, funny videos, TikTok videos, etc. I already watch those videos, but afterward, I now feel bored to watch those videos, because I always see those videos whenever I open the YouTube look for new videos on YouTube. It's not like it is different than this one that I already watched. I tried to search any topics besides this videos that I always see, but no topic that I love. It's just a topic that people always watch these videos, and someday they are going to get bored if they always see this video, just like me. I always watch the video that I got just now is like 10 or 20 times already. But I can watch this video however, I will watch this video one more time. And after that, I'm not going to watch it again. Because I'm now getting bored to see this video that I watched like 6 or 7 times. Now let's see in here that you want to watch. Huh, what is this video? I think I never heard of this video before. It's called put hand into the fan challenge and then it says do not do this at home oh wow that video seems to be interested because this is the video where the, the topic is different that i always see whenever i open youtube and i feel like i have a new topic now because i now found this video called put hand into the fans and it is new challenge for me i guess and i never watched this video before but i'm going to watch this video anyway and what happen if that person put their hand to the fan that they want to do new challenge of this video. And I hope it would be good for me. Because if this video is good and comfortable and this challenge popular. Perhaps I can do this challenge. Just like the others do this challenge. Let's watch it. What. The. Heck. Oh my god. I realize this video about the new challenge called put hand into the fan challenge was very violent and extremely dangerous for me to do this challenge. And once I put my hand into the fan, then my hand is going to cut off my fingers and it would be really hurt if I do this challenge that I just watched this new topic of this video. But not just that, I also will be very screamed very hardly about my hand was cut it off by that fan if I do this challenge. And my dad will come to my room and tell me why I'm scream. And after that, he realizes that I do the challenge like this video, in case if he watched this video before, and after he saw me what I'm doing, he's not going to take me to the hospital to recover my fingers from this challenge, and he says that it serves you right for being a bad boy and now you feel it about this. After that, he's going to ground me if he realize I do this challenge video that says do not do this at home. I didn't know this video was so violently to me to do this challenge. But hey. Even though I never do this challenge before, I may do this challenge only one time, and I'm not going to do this again once I already do this challenge. But I'm afraid I can't do it because it can cause my hand to be extremely bleed and causes my dad to go to my room and tell me what happened. 
and then he's going to ground me after I explain this to my dad about why I'm doing this. But not just that. The video that I watch also has a title where people do not do this at home. Probably because of gone wrong challenge or something like that. But who cares about my dad ground me because I do this challenge or if there's a title of this video that do not try this at home. I don't care if my dad ground me or if there's a video titles and says do not do this at home. Because I was never do any challenges in the first place. And I can't do it because I'm still grounded. You know. I always got grounded that I cannot have entertainments or fun in my life because of my parents and Rosie keeps preventing me from any fun and make me bored to death. I just going to ignore those reasons why I can't do this challenge if it's really good or not. Or let's say, hurting myself. Alright, now let's do this challenge, shall we? So the first thing that I need in this video is... Wait, is the fan is the only thing that I need to do this challenge? Oh boy, I really love it when there's the only one thing to do this challenge. Besides, it would be easy for me to just take one thing to do this challenge, and nothing else, but besides fan. But in fact, I just going to do this challenge about put hand to the fan and see if it's really painful to put my hand to fan or not. So... I'm going to take a fan and do this challenge just like this uploader does this challenge too. Finally, there's a fan in my shelf. I haven't touched this fan since 8 years ago, because this fan got replaced by air conditioner in 8 years ago too. But wait, I'm not sure if this fan still works or not as I didn't turn on this fan for 8 years or later, and because I didn't turn on this fan so long, I'm afraid that this fan might no longer work this time if I use this after 8 years. I'm going to turn on this fan to see if this fan is really work or not after 8 years. Alright, I hope this fan will be work when I turn on this fan after 8 years. I'm so scared about this. I hope it works this time. Oh my god, is it actually work? Oh. I can't actually believe it works at this game after 8 years. I thought this could not be work after 8 years, but yet, it's still working. Oh my god, this is lucky for me. The thing that I didn't touch is 8 years is actually work. I'm so happy that this can still work after 8 years. Now it's time to put my hand to this again to see if it's really painful or good after I put my hand to this again. This step was also included with that challenge. So I'm going to put my hand to this fan. You know, the only step for this challenge. Okay, now there's no more time to speak about the fan was work after 8 years. I'm going to put my hand to this fan right now. I'm doing this challenge. I shouldn't have tried this challenge before when I have thinking about if I can do this challenge. But I kept thinking about fun because I had nothing to do on today because I got grounded by my stupid parents and Rosie. As they prevent me from any fun for fun. And I was going to do this challenge. But no. I completely headache about if I can do this or not. But since I was going to do this. I just going to do this challenge anyway, and see if it's good or not if I put my hand to this fan, and Caillou, be brave do this challenge, and there's no need to scared about this challenge, everything will be alright while you doing this challenge for this, trust me Caillou, if you got pain, then someday your hand will be restored once you do this challenge, and they are not going to ground you if they realize you do this challenge, come on Caillou, you can do this for your fun, and you know, you have no fun one today, aren't you? So do this for yourself Caillou. Everything will be alright at the end.
Okay, if you say that, I'm going to put my hand to this gun in 3, 2, 1, 0. Hey honey, let's watch some movies in online. Oh my goodness. Honey, did you hear that scream? My ear was injured of that scream. I heard it too. I think Caillou was screamed for something. Yeah. I do have a feeling that screaming was from Caillou's room. I think Caillou was having a bad injured or something. You don't think? Huh? Injured? I don't really think Caillou was injured. Besides, he was never got injured of screaming like this in his room. Caillou never injured himself in his room, so it's nearly impossible that he screams just because he got injured in his room. Just go to his room and tell him why he scream about. He's going to tell us the truth about why he scream in his room. It's probably because not just about injuries, but also his friend's problem or something. You should go to his room and tell him why he scream about. Um, okay Doris, I will do this as for your favor, and I will comfort Caillou when he has a serious problem with his injuries or his friend's drama problem. I have to go right now, and tell Caillou why he's screaming. I will be right back Doris. Oh my god. I hope Caillou does not injure himself, but besides of that, I'm going to tell him why he's scream about. I hope he does not do bad stuff when he's scream about that. Caillou, why are you s- Wait, what the- So freaking 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 hurt 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 and my hand is now bleeding with blood someone help me help me help me help me I got injured with my hand someone please help me What happened here? Now calm down I said calm down Don't you know I'm here can you? I said calm the heck down don't you know that I'm here to tell you need to calm down? But do you honestly think you're deaf? I saw calm down Caillou, can't you hear me? Calm down, so you need to stop acting like you did just now and listen to me what I just say. But no, you just ignored what I said. Now stop it for your actions just now for God's sake. There, satisfied for not listen to me what I just said? Now can you tell me what the actually is going on in here, and why there's a blood on the ground? Huh, what are you talking about dad? There's no blood on the ground. Besides, I just- Oh, so you think there's no blood in here, and can you look on the ground and you will get it if there's blood or not? Um, okay dad, let me see on the ground. Huh, what the- Oh, so this is what are you going to talk about? I thought there's no blood in here, but yet, it is now here. Yes, that's why I talked to you about the blood, and can you explain why there's a blood on the ground? You better tell me the truth, or else you will receive a second punishment day is for your punishment if you lie to me. Now tell me why there's a blood on the ground. Okay dad, I will explain why there's a blood on the ground, after I eat my lunch supper. I just take a laptop to see some entertainments, because I already got holiday on tomorrow and Sunday, and I feel bored to watch some YouTube videos, as the videos that I already seen is always show up of that video, making me so bored to watch those videos, but I try to find any videos that is besides them, but I realize that there's a new topic of that video, and that video called put the hand to the fan. I was watched of that video. Wait, did you say you watched the video called Put the Hand to the Fan? Is that right? Huh, oh, yes. I watched that video challenge. In fact, that challenge is the most dangerous challenge that I ever heard, as their hand will be bleed out badly once their hand are put to the fan. Oh, I get it what you just say just now. And, does this blood on the ground means you attempted to do put the hand into the fan challenge? And after you hand got hit by this fan? 
These bloods will splash to the floor, is that right? Tell me the truth right now Kite you. Yes Dad, I attempted to do this challenge, just like the others do. I thought this challenge is popular and I like it, but I realized it wasn't. It was eventually dangerous and violent challenge ever in my life. Most of people claim this challenge is cool, when it's actually not. It can make their hand bleed out really bad after they put their hands to the fan. And their hand has been cut off by that fan. And, you're not gonna believe what I'm tell you this. One of my hand is finally cut off. As I mentioned before, their hand might cut off if they put their hands to the fan. And it was feel injured as heck for put one of my hands to this fan. And now I can't pick up any things on my left arm. And it is still blood in my left arm because I put them into this fan. And I'm being suffered for this injuries. I'm really so sorry for follow this challenge. I try to control myself that this challenge is very dangerous. But no. I had to do this because I have no fun. As you, my mom and Rosie kept prevent me from any fun for fun. And I don't think I should sent to the hospital and recover my injured hand. I'm sorry for attempt to do this dad. I promise I will never do this again in the future. I'm sorry dad. Please don't mad at me. Oh my goodness gracious Caillou, are you faking kidding me? Do you even realize put your hand to this fan challenge is very okay to do this challenge? Why do you even follow this challenge like the others do? Don't you see that video's title where you are not allowed to do this at home? And if you see that title, you're supposed to not do this at home like the others do this challenge. But no, you just do this challenge for your fun. Wow, that is not an excuse to get fun by put your hand to this fan. Do you even realize that this thing is not funny to do? Put your hand to this fan is very serious injured for your hand that you not just your arms, but also entire your body. And even worse, you could end up stay in the hospital if your entire body got hit by this fan. But luckily your entire body does not get hit by this fan, except your arms. So because your hand got cut off by this fan for doing those horrible challenge, I will not going to take you to the hospital to recover your hand after you did this horrible challenge. Your arms will be injured and cannot be recovered forever. Because this is what you get for being a bad boy in the whole year. And you earned yourself by put your hand to this fan by follow that horrible challenge. Great job for earn this for your past mistakes. I will never help you from any situation like this. If you want to call me, that's it. You are now grounded 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 until all of your clothes burned and you will wear a diaper only instead of the clothes. Now go to bed and sleep forever. I will not leave this room until you got to bed. So I will keep asking you to go to bed over and over until you go to your bed. Now go to bed and sleep. 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 Okay, okay, Dad. I will go to bed right now. And please don't ask me that question over and over again until I got bed. I will go to bed, Dad. So please don't do this for me, Dad. I will do us for your favor. Good. Now go to bed. Oh, I also going to take away your laptop forever is for your punishment to do the challenge of putting your hand to this fan, and got suffered of the hand injuries. And I will not clean the blood pools in your room until this room has a smell really bad, so you're going to have a smell really bad for your hand's blood injuries. Now stay in the bed and don't go any single floor in here, you no longer have any entertainment stuff forever. I really hate you dad, and I will never forgive you for prevent me for any fun. Screw you dad. Why?